Hi, me again. Now I'm going to show you your mini swipe kit. And remember, these techniques are all available in the party kit, where you have four um, techniques available, which is the swipe, the blow, the string pull, and the flip cup. This is now the swipe kit. So you have again your colors, your four colors, and your silicone some cups for mixing in basically everything the same except this time you have some paper towel and you have a little cardboard working again on mine just to show you just be easier what you're going to do here is you're going to actually use your cups for mixing in and you're going to mix your three colors one whoops sorry If you want to, they can be a little bit wetter than this, so what I do is just give a little squirt of water, just one little squirt of water just to wet it up a little bit. And then using your stir sticks, give it a little stir. So that it's nice and runny. more okay then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to add the white in here the reason I'm doing this one differently is this is going to be my color I'm going to use for actual swiping so this one we're going to add the silicone to I can find my silicone there we go so I'll add one, two, three drops, give it a stir, it's already quite watery, so that's actually fine, and then we're going to take these for the sticks. And we'll do some layers of different colors. You can do it in layers if you want to, or you can do it in spots, or it doesn't really matter how you lay this down. If you want to do it in a more controlled way, and you want to do a tree or something underneath it that's going to show out more, you can lay it out, but that's a lot more advanced. This is just a starter kit and those videos I'll show you at a later stage. The idea here is just to get the board kind of covered. And you'll see I'm leaving a space on this side and that's going to be for my pouring color, which in this case is white. take my white and I'm going to pour it along the edge straight along the edge. you can if you've got some left over put some on here as well it's not a big deal if you don't okay now the first way to do it that I like to encourage people is to use your paper towel. So just tear your paper towel so it's not too big. And the idea of doing the paper towel is that when you pull the paint over, when you swipe, the idea is not to push it over with force. You have to just very lightly drag it over. And the best way to learn how to do that is by using a piece of paper towel because you can't physically push the paper towel down. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it right on the very edge of your board and you're going to let the, the paint grip the paper. 
So you feel the paint kind of like soaking into the, the paper and then you're going to keep it kind of low down, not too high up, nice and low down, but not that you're touching the paint at the bottom. And then just so slowly pull it across all the way to the end. When you swipe, you always start from the one side and in one movement go all the way to the other side. If you have a problem in the middle, you can't really go from the middle and swipe again because you're going to have a line. So if you have a problem in the middle, you have to go all the way from the bottom and swipe up or all the way from the top and swipe back down again. After your first swipe, your paper is going to be very dirty. Do not use it again. Just fold it up and put it away. Then you take a new clean piece and you take the other side. Set it down, let it grip. And then slowly drag your paint across. All the way to the end. And you put that away. So now you will see it's going to have no color on this side, it's just going to be white and then your color is going to go start appearing as you go along. Your cells will start to develop. Let me pick this up and show you. And as it dries, more and more cells will start to develop. Very, very cool cells. This one's quite nice here in the middle where it's got lots of different colors coming through. So you can either leave it like that or if you have a torch, you can torch some extra cells out just to encourage it. As I said, torch is a very nice thing to have if you're going to be doing this more often. developing. Okay, so that is your first stage of learning how to do a flip. The next phase of learning to do a flip, you'll see I have incorporated in your kit a little laminated card. Once you've got the hang of doing the paper serviette, it's going to be a lot easier to, you get a very nice effect from here, from this. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I was going to add, I'm going to just pour it from the bottle. Some red. And some yellow. I'm going to do it the same way as I did the last one so that you can see the difference in the blue. Try and getting it all the way to the edge. If you don't get it to the edge, you can just push it to the edge because you want when you drag it, it must come all the way down. So just use one of your sticks and it doesn't matter if you mix the colors because it's going to mix at the bottom anyway. I'm going to mix some more white in my cup with the silicone. Two-three-ish. The beauty of the fluid art is it's not an exact science. It's never going to come out the same twice. There's no such thing as mistakes, but if you're not happy with what happens, you can always just scrape it off with your stick and start again. So there's no real pressure involved with this. It's just a case of deciding which technique you like the best. And then you just play with that. It's all plain. Okay, so I've done my layer. Now I'm going to take my board. Very important again, don't apply pressure. Put it on. I like to actually let it go so I can make sure I'm not accidentally pushing down and then pull it all the way. Now because you've only got the one board, you must just wipe it off. You can have some paper, some toilet paper on the side, just give it a little wipe. It doesn't have to be spotless, just so that you don't drag more color over. Again, let go and pull it down. Put it down. Put it down. You can
can see I've got a bit of a stripe here. I don't like that. I would like it to be more um, even. So just do it again. If you feel like this corner here has got too much white, you can always do it up to the end. In fact, you could do it the whole way to make it less white and more colors going up. This last one I'm going to show you what happens if you push too hard. So you can see the difference. If you push it really hard, you're going to get that very dark line, no white, very few bubbles, and very few cells. So again, use your torch if you have one, give it a good blow, pop all your bubbles. Very cute cells, very nice. And that is your swipe technique.